All right, we are back on Morning Line, as we do oftentimes on uh, Thursdays at the end of the program. We like to, to bring on folks to talk about weekend happenings and happening around town. And this morning, we're going to do that about an event, I guess it says here, happening on uh, Saturday, November 1st. Carol Mansour is with us. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Nice to have you on. Uh, this is interesting. I was talking to her before the break about the Baha'i Faith, the Baha'i Center. What we're going to talk about is the Flowers of One Garden Multural, Multicultural evening of the arts. It's at the National Baha'i Center. I'm guessing there's a lot of people out there, one, don't know what the Baha'i Faith is, and two, didn't even know we had a center for it. Right. So, if you would, Baha'i, it's a religion? It is a religion. Okay. What do people need to know about it? Well, the, the briefest explanation I can give you is this. To be a Baha'i simply means to love all the world, to love humanity and try to serve it, to work for universal peace and universal brotherhood. It is based culturally from where? Where did the Baha'i Faith start? Well, it started in Iran in yeah. the mid-1800s, but it is a religion. It's not a philosophy or um, school of thought. It is actually a religion, and Baha'is believe that there's one God, okay. that all of the people of the world are children of that same God, and that all of the religions of the world spring from the same divine source and that the differences in the religions are not because God is in competition with himself but because of our limited understanding of the sacred texts that we have been given. We believe that there's one unfolding religion. For example, if you look at the teachings of Christ, he didn't say Moses was an idiot. He no. said, if you had known Moses, you would, known me, you would know me. So we believe that all of the religions of the world are one continuing line of um, revelation from So you're God. accepting of other religions? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And so this event, what's it all about? Um, a multicultural evening about why are you having it? And then you can, we can talk about what's going to happen. Sure. There's a concept in the Baha'i Faith. There's a prayer that asks for God to make us united as flowers of one garden. So the title of the event is Flowers of One Garden. And Nashville is extremely diverse. A lot of people who grew up here may not realize just how diverse it is. And this is an opportunity for people to get to see some of that diversity. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be everyone's welcome, I'm sure. Absolutely. But I mean, the idea is to allow those who attend other denominations, other faiths, to come and just all gather as one. Right, yeah. It's going to be an, an interesting mixture of talent and performances. Um, the new Jubilee Baha'i Gospel That's Choir nice. will be singing, and I'm a member of that choir, and we welcome everyone to join us. Um, it helps if you can carry a tune, but it's not <laughs> essential. Uh, we're also going to have a Native American dancer. A lot of people may realize that some of the spirituals had um, secret messages. For example, when the slaves were planning an escape, they would sing particular songs to let other slaves know that you know, the Underground Railroad is about to stop here and pick folks up. Mm -hmm. Well, Native hmm. Americans also had uh, dances that were sending messages. Uh, we're going to have someone perform the jingle dress dance, and that dance is a prayer, but if you were observing it, there's not a big announcement made whenever the, the dance is performed, but Native Americans knew, the Ojibwe tribe members knew when someone was doing the jingle dress dance that they were offering healing prayers. Very cool. So now, okay, so dance, I'm looking at this. Dance, as you said, music. There's going to be some artwork. Mm -hmm. There's going to be storytelling. Yes. Okay, some storytelling. Now, let's tell folks where this is at. First of all, it's free, all right? Absolutely. Um, and it's going to be at 7 p.m. on Saturday, November mm -hmm. 1st. And uh, there's the full screen. And actually, if you can get close enough to the screen, you can see that jingle dance. <laughs> the jingle dress she's talking about, I think, is the upper left-hand corner photo of someone dancing there. But there will be several people involved, um, obviously, and they're going to gather at the center there on Bell Road. Where right. was that near? That's 1556 Bell it's Road. I'm trying to think, where are you guys? a mile and a half or so. What? Let's see, east of Nolensville Road, off of Bell Road. Okay. Between Nolensville Road and I-24. Okay. And it will run from 7 to what? To um, probably about 8.30 or 9. Plus there will be, you know, a period for people to get to know the children of God's family that you didn't know before you get there. You got there, some of your relatives that you hadn't met yet, that you didn't know you were related <laughs> to. So there will be a time for social uh, 
socializing and refreshments, I'm sure. Okay, just walking around, talking, learning right. more about it. Yeah. I kind of like the idea of just getting it together. It's not as though you're inviting folks there trying to recruit. No. It's, it's more that no. you really want folks to just come and let's mingle. Tell us about you. We'll tell you about us. Absolutely. And then enjoy some of the culture. Is this the first year you've done this? This is the first time we've done this particular event. We okay. have uh, other programs throughout the year that are similar in nature, but not exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So um, you, we have a, another program called a Unity Feast that will actually be the following Saturday, and that also often includes um, people from different cultures performing. Mm. And um, any unique food? I mean, Always. I'm just wondering something different, maybe that's... Uh, well, you know, I don't, I'm not on the refreshment uh, committee, so I, mean, I, I, I don't want to promise. Okay, I don't want to promise, promise, but I'm just wondering if there might be something know, a little unique or different that's cultural, that's associated with it, or something like there that. There may be. I How's that imagine. for a teaser? There, yeah, yeah, I like that <laughs> idea. And once again, tell me, Baha'i, what, is the Baha what does that mean, that word? Baha'i? Um, if you go back to the book of Isaiah, it says, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. If you mm -hmm. translate glory of the Lord into Arabic, it's Baha'u'llah, mm. and that's the founder of our faith. And a Baha'i is someone who follows the glory of the Lord. So in the essence, then, glory of the Lord, or someone right. who follows. follows the glory or follower of the light. Were you, were you always a Baha'i? No, as a matter of fact, you don't have time for this, but I'm the daughter of a Pentecostal deacon. <laughs> How about that? So my so story will have to wait for another day. I love it, but I bet it's a good one. <laughs> All right, let's put up that information one more time for everyone, just so they see it. Again, everyone's invited. It's free. Um, as you said, there'll probably be some refreshments there as well, but mm -hmm. uh, dance, storytelling, art, music. It's going to be uh, Saturday, 7 p.m. at the National Baha'i Center, 1556 Bell Road, right there in Nashville, as you said, not far off, mile and a half right. from Nolensville Road or mm -hmm. something like that. And you'll see Carol there, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll be there. Carol, thank you very much for coming out. It's a out. pleasure. I, I hope you have a good turnout, and I think that's neat. It's a good thing to bring people together. I hope you can come. <laughs> oh. All right. Take care of yourself, sure. all right? Thank you. So, you know,